There's mystery surrounding sound and acoustics if you're not an expert in the field. In the security and fire industry, we've been more concerned about volume. Much of what we produce is tone. Tones serve a purpose. The car horn, the train whistle, the fog horn of a slow-moving ship. But they cannot compare to the valuable information transmitted by voice. Voice communication uses different frequencies and has different requirements when it comes to clarity and intelligibility from a speaker. Voice communication is all about clarity, though you would not know it as you try to understand the announcement in a train station, airport, or on a factory floor. Hyperspike technology was created by experts in the field. Initially, the goal was to create speakers that could focus sound waves and project intelligible speech long distances, while being small in size so installation was easier. They also had to deliver superior STI, Speech Transmission Index, which is a measurement of the intelligibility, because one thing is hearing, and quite another is understanding. Well, mission accomplished. With models such as TCPA-10, Omni-360, and the MA series of 360-degree outdoor speakers. So the next challenge they set their sights on was reverberant environments. Sites where sound reflects, bounces, or cancels out so that the message is not understood. Airports, factory floors, warehouses are just some examples. Hyperspike turns its expertise to creating a specially tuned group of speakers called LineWave to focus sound to the listener's ear, avoid reverberant services, and deliver clear and authoritative voice messages. Hyperspike is the first to design line array for commercial industrial markets rather than the concert hall. This now allows you to overcome much of the traditional reverberant environments and produce clear and authoritative voice commands and tones that people can understand. LineWave beamforming focuses sound to the listener's ears, thereby lowering reverberations from hard surfaces. The speakers are frequency tuned since effective voice is not produced by just any speaker. Hyperspec line wave extends the near and far field effect. So rather than search for the sweet spot where sound is optimal, you now have a sweet area where the listener close to the speaker is not blown away by volume and the listener in the back of the room is not straining to understand. Voice communication is much more effective at mobilizing people, and speakers used for tones are not necessarily the right speaker for voice. Lower frequencies used for tones tend to muffle voice and reflect more off the surfaces. A typical mistake has been to focus on volume, decibels. Specifiers focus on volume instead of intelligibility, a mistake that can be heard in many institutions around the world. We speak of those troublesome sound environments that make it difficult for producing intelligible speech. Here are some examples. The hyperspike line wave comes in two, four, eight, and 16 speaker configurations. The two and four speaker configurations are ideal for smaller interior spaces with low ceilings, cafeterias, cubicle farms, meeting salons, and such. The 8 and 16 speaker configurations provide authoritative speech in tunnels, airplane hangars, factory floors, or big box stores. Line arrays are typically used in the professional audio market, which is more music than it is public address or emergency notification. The hyperspike goal is to cut through the noise and provide highly intelligible voice commands. Low frequency background noise is a part of the problem. The murmur of the crowd of people, the hum of the AC units, traffic or weather in outdoor applications, and the drone of forklifts in a warehouse are all problematic until now.